All right, now to some other stories we're following. Tens of thousands of people in Texas and Louisiana are without power right now as a major storm system sweeps through the country. National Weather Service officials are inspecting the affected areas today for likely tornado damage. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour took down trees and damaged buildings. More than 400 flights have been canceled in the Dallas area. Now these are the same storms, or I should say these storms are from the same system that blanketed California in snow over the last week. There's a winter storm warning in effect for parts of Northern California as snow approaches. So you see parts of the country dealing with all of this. CBS News correspondent Janet Shamlian um, joins us now from Shreveport, Louisiana. We can see some of the damage behind you, Janet, but give us the full picture. How much uh, of an impact has, yeah. has this storm had where you are? Well, exactly. Errol, what you're saying is what happened in California has translated into this in Shreveport, Louisiana. What you're looking at behind me is a laundromat. There were people inside when the storm came. Uh, they were okay. This is an interesting element as well. There were children in the car parked in front of the laundromat as debris came down on it. They were also okay. Um, in fact, there were no injuries here, but there is a lot of a damage. We're at the entrance to a neighborhood where people are now going and assessing their homes, and we've seen pictures and uh, stories about people uh, finding varying degrees of damage from just tree damage to some with their roofs completely ripped off to some homes that are considered inhabitable. Uh, the good news on this is there are no injuries here, but the damage was not just confined to Louisiana. It, it spread west from here uh, to the Dallas area where Love Field, uh, DFW had hundreds of flight cancellations. This is the type of weather, guys, that we usually see here in the South region in mid to late March and April. So if this is a, a portender of what's to come, like we're in for a rough uh, season here in terms of tornadoes and severe weather in the south. Yeah, Janet, we mentioned these storms came from the same system that hit California. Did residents there see this coming? Yeah, they really did because uh, the, the forecast was out for days. This region wasn't exactly in the Torcon 5 area. We know the Torcon scale goes from 1 to 7, I believe. So they were in the general vicinity of a 5. So there was plenty of awareness. Uh, and yet, what else can you do except, you know, hunker down, take shelter? Uh, there's not much more you can do for your homes. And I think, uh, uh, to answer your question more specifically, no one was hurt, right? So it seems that people were not caught off guard, but certainly for those who have suffered damage, there's a long road ahead and the cleanup starts now. Absolutely, but uh, glad to hear no injuries where you are. Janet, yeah. thank you so much, Janet Shamley. Thank you, Janet.